One percent. One percent. One percent. Everyone. Is Playback Coalition in the house? Yeah. Is PC 37 in the house? Yeah. What do we want? One percent. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? One percent. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. All right. I love that energy. That's good parks energy right there. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shaker Krishnan. I'm the council member for Jackson Heights and Elmhurst, Queens, and the chair of the Committee on Parks and Recreation. Woo! And I want to say a big, big thank you to the Playfair Coalition for showing up today. Yeah. 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 And we are here because as we've heard over and over again, our green spaces, our parks, are the most essential spaces in our city. They were essential for our public health, yeah. for our mental health. Woo! They are essential for racial justice. Yeah. Because when you look across this city, you see neighborhoods like mine in Jackson Heights and Elmhurst, which ranks 50 out of 51 when it comes to council districts with park space. You look at the urban heat island effect and the way it affects communities with South Bronx with hotter climates than they do on the Upper West Side, for example, because you don't have enough trees in communities of color. When we talk about this issue, we need to talk about the way in which our parks are essential. And what we need is a budget that reflects exactly that. We need $1 billion or 1% for parks. That is the only way that we can ensure that parks are treated as the social justice issue that they are. That is the only way to ensure that every single community benefits from having green space, from park space, from more trees. This is an issue affecting our climate. It is an issue affecting our immigrant communities. It is an issue affecting our health and well-being as a city. And that's why we are out here today to send the message loud and clear that what we need if we have a budget that is to reflect our values, yes. if we are to have a budget that reflects how essential our parks are, then we need a budget that has $1 billion or 1% for parks. And we are going to fight for that together. Brevemente en español, mi nombre es Shaker Krishnan, soy el concejal de este distrito de Jackson Heights y Elmer 25, y el distrito con el menos espacio verde por toda la ciudad. También soy el líder del, del Comité de Parques en, en el Consejo Municipal. Y estamos aquí porque sabemos nosotros que parques, los espacios verdes, los árboles, son esenciales, fueron esenciales durante la pandemia y serán esenciales. Y necesitamos un presupuesto que refleja ese valor de nuestros espacios verdes con un billón de dólares para nuestros parques, nuestros árboles, nuestros espacios verdes. Este es un asunto de justicia racial, de salud pública, de salud mental y para el bienestar para nuestra ciudad. Así que luchamos juntos para asegurar que tengamos esos fondos adecuados, un billón de dólares para estos parques, para nuestros parques. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the Coalition, to the Coalition. But I want to do a big, big shout out to the Playfair Coalition, to New Yorkers for Parks, to the League of Conservation Voters, to every group who is here, to DC 37, to Borough President Mark Levine, the former chair of the Parks Coalition, the fight for so many years, and to every single one of my colleagues who is standing here today. Thank you all so much. Let's do this. Thank you so much for, for fighting for our parks in New York City. Let's give them a round of applause. Hi, my name is Nancy Kong. I'm with Brooklyn Bridge Manhattan. And we're here today to ask the mayor to keep his campaign promises and fund 1% of the budget for parks. It is so incredibly important that we build and invest in our people. Parks is not a luxury. And that's why we are so grateful for the chairman, uh, for his leadership and his vision. It is so needed for to build our communities and it is unconscionable for this mayor to cut the budget. Thank you so much. That's why it's so important for us. My name is Salman Khan. I'm with the Central Park Conservancy and we're all for 1% for parks. 
Parks are critical infrastructure. They're not nice to have, they're needs. New Yorkers need parks, and if anything uh, has become clear over the last two years, the parks are requirements for New Yorkers. So 1% for parks, let's go. Funding for parks is so important because it means climate resi resiliency, it, it means equity for neighborhoods around the city. And uh, there's nothing more important than that, and the mayor has promised 1%, and he needs to do it. Hey there, folks. I'm Dan. Oh, gosh. And uh, we're gardeners for parks and members of DC 37. Just wanted to let everybody know that this 1% uh, is just essential and would be so great for not just us, but the city, the animals, the uh, ecological problems, and much, much more. So please stay strong. Hi, my name is Winston Farrell. I'm out here representing Parks Enforcement, New York City PEP. We are out here begging the city, please, to support us for funding. We are law enforcement officers and we need that funding. We need the money to retain our good officers. There's no reason why the city promotes other officers like NYPD, sanitation cops. We need the funding right here to stay in Perth. Yes, we support our brothers and sisters in sanitation, PD. We love them, but we don't get the support we need, we feel like, because we don't have the money needed to retain good officers like you see right here every day. They're not making enough to support their families, but we're supporting your families trying to protect the parks. That's right. This funding is the difference between us going, having a place to go home at night, or going to a shelter. We need that money. Seriously, it's, it's, getting, it's getting serious. If we don't get that money, I might have to quit my job and go into the welfare. We need livable wages. Taxes. We yes. need livable wages. No one can live now. off that. Nobody can live Since off we that. haven't gotten our raise and inflation has increased 8% and our salary didn't increase, we're basically low, like living below. Yes. Yes. And we have no backup when we go to parks. We have no backup. There's and, plenty of weapons. And we don't qualify for any city programs. The city rejects us everywhere we go. We can't get the help. So this is why we're here. We're here to fight for more money. That's the only way that we can get ourselves out of, out of poverty. Hi, I'm Michael Burke. I'm a grievance rep with DC 37. I'm also an urban park ranger. This patch right here means a lot to a lot of New Yorkers. This patch suffered when the Playfair lines were lost. Over 50 urban park rangers lost their jobs due to Playfair funding getting cut during the pandemic. Now we're wanting that those jobs to be earmarked. We want those jobs to be made sure that New Yorkers have the ability to see this patch to receive public education, to be safe, to receive help, to have fun, and the funding for our parks, 1%. Thank you. Thank you.